Hello there, I'm Gilface, and this is my view of the story from this point on. As we were heading to Murray Tower, I was told by Colossa that the roof has a bottomless pool, which got me excited. You see, I spent many generations following the orders of my strict mother, the Queen of the Nile, who always told me not to go too astray from shallow waters. But I always wanted to feel what it's like to have no limits in different bodies of water. So I was eager to try this out, to be perfectly honest. As we arrived in the lobby of Murray Tower, I was surprised how many tall ladies were staffing the place. Colossa told me that the Murray Tower employees were a series of physical projections meant to keep the building in tip-top shape. Since Debbie was still upset about this ordeal, I tried to promise her that we'd leave in a few hours. She did save my life from Mars, after all. And there I was, on the roof of Murray Tower, one floor above Colossus' quarters, and I was excited to experience the infinity of these waters. As I jumped in and let myself sink like a stone, I felt at peace. And I have to admit, I didn't get any sleep apnea while I was there. So I was resting comfortably in the glistening depths, however. I felt like I wasn't alone. I didn't see anyone at the surface before getting in. And I saw that there weren't anyone waiting in the pool surface above me. And yet, I still have the feeling that someone, or something, is watching me. When I decided to take a peek into the distance, I saw what looked like a curious glistening in the horizon. There couldn't have been any sunlight in the position that the glistening was, and oddly, it was still there. It seemed to be floating around of its free will, as if it was a conscious thing. And eventually I realized that whatever it was, it was getting closer. I shut my eyes, hoping that I was imagining things in the serenity of the waters but I still felt a nagging presence coming my way. Next thing I knew, I heard a grunt, like a grunt of something feeling hungry and having a hard time keeping its patience. When I peeked again, I wish I didn't. Right in front of me, just a few feet away from my face, was a shark. The shark looked to be a great white or bull shark, though I couldn't entirely recognize it due to the dread that was gradually building up inside me. And another thing was this shark, surprisingly, was nearly transparent, seeing only an outline of a predatory ocean monster that was glistening like a troubling disco ball as it swam around. And by that moment I found that it was this was no traditional shark. This shark was dead. Nothing more than a literal ghost. Before the shark could strike at my head, I dodged just inches from its glistening teeth and swam back to the surface as fast as I could. I felt like I was swimming for ten minutes before I finally climbed my way out of the pool. As I was gasping for air due to my exhaustion, I told one of the Murray Tower employees nearby to tell Dentrini to come over to where I was, for I was aching from head to toe. When Dentrini finally arrived at the scene, I told her that I was chased by what I believed to be the ghost of a hungry shark. After saying this, Debbie kept a calm attitude and told me to wait here. To avoid being anchored by wet clothes, she removed her outer layer of clothes down to her undergarments and dove headfirst into the pool. As I waited for a few minutes, I thought that Denstrini was going to die from whatever it was, and that it would be my fault. To my great relief, I saw Dentrini arise from the pool, drenched in bleeding, but otherwise completely fine. She told me that I was attacked by a variation of Ghost Tooth, a spirit of a shark that never gets full due to being dead for an undisclosed amount of time. She also stated that she used the runes on her demonic fist to help the shark cross over to the afterlife, after a bit of fighting and struggling. I apologize for suggesting that we go to Murray Tower and thus making all this happen. But Debbie told me that it wasn't my fault at all. It was merely another day for her. 
I guess my mother was truly trying to keep me safe after all. I must be more vigilant in the future.